Ayer hice un test de personalidad. Me salió personalidad indecisa. Me sorprendió, la verdad. Yo pensé que era independiente, determinada, decidida. Güey, hubiera pedido la de una mate. Es bien indecisa. Precavida, darling. Precavida. Yo creo que tienes que decirle. Estás bloqueada en light and upbeat for the most part and I think part of this is certainly due to the music but I think it's also in the way that um in the really skillful way honestly that anxiety and indecision is shown our protagonist is constantly on the move and is almost always consumed by the decision of whether to tell their parent um and personally I really enjoyed that Uh, the part of the protagonist literally sifting through um, the spilled beans trying to decide whether to say something or not. Um, and I think it's because we see so much movement. It feels very active and engaging. And I think there was also this very excellent portrayal of um, an all-consuming anxiety. And I think that's done through the heavy breathing sounds or the breathing sounds, which are really good. And the way that they're done makes it feel very immersive. And I also appreciate that when the parent does tell or when the protagonist does tell their parent, um, we don't even really hear what happens. Uh, we just kind of like see the aftermath of it. And I also like that the hardest part for the protagonist is telling their parent and that's you know, a main tension or plot point. But then when we actually see them pursuing who they're interested in and who they're um, like crushes, it's very easy for them. Uh, making something so simple, so, so so complicated, just because of the implications, um, letting your family member know something so huge. There's a there's a huge build up to that. And this this film really captured that well, um, the anxiety and how much you have to hype yourself up to tell your parent something like this. Um, and then realizing how um, simple it is in the end and how and e any reaction, no matter how bad, will pass. Um, and you could really feel the, the, our main character's relief in the end um, to have that off of her back. I thought that the relationship between the mother and daughter was very relatable um, and uh, very well done here, portrayed excellently by our actresses. Um, also, I would like to mention the color scheme and aesthetics of this film. I loved, I thought it was beautiful. Um, and so, yeah, um, shout out to the art director and the cinematographer in this, this film. Um, it was really cool to look at. I really love the lead's internal monologues throughout the film. I also love the close-up shots of faces to see intimate reactions. I really appreciated the burst of classical music here and there as the main character deliberated when to tell. It gave the film a light, entertaining touch. Clever idea to blank out the sound of voices when the admission is made just to focus on the physical and emotional reactions. The shots of the mother looming over her partway was also very effective. It's all the buildup of the fear and carrying it with you for however long you've carried it for a particular thing and then getting through it and realizing most of the time things will be okay. I know it's not the case for everybody, but for this scenario... The person was not happy for a minute. They got over it. They they not got over it, but they accepted it. They they let it soak in and then it was okay. So now this person can get on with their life. And I think it's about that. And just like, don't carry something with you that is ruining your life when it's about your life and being able to live your life to the best. Um, I thought the script was really good. I thought it made sense. It flowed really nicely. The shots were really well done. I really particularly loved the cinematography, the lighting within the house the most. There was something about it. It was really beautiful. Um, very nice hair and makeup done. I liked the location and the set design. When she screamed under the water, I thought that was hilarious because there wasn't anywhere else to do it um, without being heard. Uh, I loved the actress and her facial expressions and just even the mother. I thought her facial expressions were very 
um, subtle but real, just really, really not overdone. I liked that a lot. And I wrote down everything passes. So this too shall pass is kind of a, I guess, a metaphor for this. It's really good. And, you know, our imagination can be worse than reality. I really like this storytelling. It feels, it, it feels very natural, very organic. You have this scene I love that Googling. Then you feel the anxiousness with, with her breathing and shouting in the pool. You can really sense that this step is a huge milestone. And how she plays the potential of mother's reaction over and over and it's just very scary. The music was great and then you have the actual reaction from the mom. It's just priceless. It is it is very authentic. In general, the story is very well told. I think they are trying to raise awareness on the importance of being open and letting everyone express and be themselves, regardless of your expectations. Everybody was very genuine and believable. And the story that they were telling, it was relatable. Anybody could relate to it. And it was interesting to watch. Um, I loved the voiceover in the beginning how that kind of set up what was going on and kind of what the tone was. Mm -hmm.